Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of Haltech's new race expansion module. So what I'm holding here is Haltech's new race expansion module, or Rembox. This control box contains some really powerful features designed specifically for our drag racing customers. Now, as many of you are aware, the Elite 2500 ECU has only eight injector driver outputs, which can be a limitation for some six and eight cylinder drag cars that require multiple stages of injection. And this is where the new race expansion module can help. The REM offers an additional eight injection channels. This gives the Elite 2500 and race expansion module combined the capability of running up to 64 high impedance injectors. So in addition to the extra injector outputs, the REM offers eight additional programmable outputs and 16 additional inputs, which allows the user to run a swag more sensors into the ECU for data logging or map corrections or for switching devices on or off. The added functionality of the race expansion module doesn't stop at input and output expansion, however. The REM also opens up additional functions within the ECU, and probably the most anticipated function that the REM opens up is the torque management function. Now what this new function does is allow you to set up a target rate of acceleration based on a timer and then modify the engine tune up based on what's actually happening at the track. So I understand that all sounds a little bit vague. So let me give you an example. One channel that you could use as your target rate of acceleration is drive shaft speed. Using drive shaft speed as the map axis in the torque management function allows you to set a target drive shaft speed over time. And if the drive shaft speed goes above or below that target, then the ECU can automatically adjust the power delivery by reducing or increasing ignition timing or reducing or increasing boost or applying a rev limiter or shutting off a nitrous solenoid. So in this application, torque management can be used to prevent and control wheel slip. Now one of the great advantages of the torque management function in the Haltech ECU is that you're not required to use the drive shaft speed as the map axis for this function. So you may want to choose to use engine RPM or wheel speed. You can also set up multiple correction profiles that can be triggered by say a sensor input or a switch on the dash. So you may have a varying drive shaft target RPM based on the pressure on the wheelie bar or perhaps the front wheel height, or simply by using a rotary switch input on the dash. So what this torque management feature does for a drag racer is allow you to be consistent. No longer should you ever have to abort a pass because of wheel slip, tire spin, tire shake, because the ECU can detect what's happening, increase or decrease power based on what's actually happening at the wheel. The race expansion module integrates directly with the Elite 2500 and the Elite 1500 ECU. So if you're serious about drag racing, contact us now so that we can show you how the Haltech race expansion module can get you down track faster. That's all we have time for today. I'm Matt from Haltech. I'll see you next time.